Welcome to Livecast. I'm Sam. We're here weeknights at 6 o'clock. Live Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. Almost. Almost. Last night we weren't live. But here's the thing. And some people suspected it. And, mm. and we weren't trying to be trickers. We weren't trying to be trickers. <laughs> we weren't trying to trick anybody. But I had a, a, a private event here last night. Clearly, I couldn't do the show, but but we try to minimize the number of reruns that uh, we give you. I think that's uh, in your best interest. We're being super nice. We want you to have fresh content, and you had fresh content last night. That was fun. By the way, <laughs> thank you to everybody who wants more Kelly. Makes me feel like shit. Nah. Bring Kelly more. We love her. It's so <laughs> cute to see her there. Finally She's so nice. Finally get my comeuppance. Come up and if you had any idea the difference between this Kelly and Kelly when I started the cooking show. Oh gosh. How, about, would, oh my how God. about this Kelly and the Kelly when we started the live cast? Oh, oh yes. right. She used Creeping to. On the stairs. She, Shannon, can you get a shot of the stairs? Because that's where she used to hide. Right there. Right back there. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Sit right she would sight. sit there and she would like <laughs> perv in on us. Yep. <laughs> It was like she was watching something she wasn't supposed to be watching. <laughs> By the way, can you get a close-up of my face, Shannon? Making her work Why? today. Uh, I think I put too much powder on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I you can't tell. Did I? No. No, no, no. It looks fine. It's just, I'm okay. Fine. It was just this camera. This camera in front of me makes me look like very pale at times. You've so been so self-conscious ever since Kelly called you out on your moves. Oh. <laughs> oh god yeah fuck and they have an actual name i didn't mean to and then i felt bad and then i saw people commenting last night and then lynn has to go bring it up again hey you, no, no, no 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 Ke kelly, 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 kelly oh. sam no no stop stop Sammy, dude. Don't. Oh, oh, god. Here, here move cleavage that's not look there's nothing there they're just regular they're not man they're just regular or and the 18 hairs that i have <laughs> shit god Anyway, welcome to the Sam Livecast. Mm -hmm. uh, you can follow along with everybody that follows along on the Facebook. The Facebook. The mm -hmm. Facebook.com forward slash Sam the Cooking Guy. There is a community there. And you know what? I go and I, I look at the Facebook comments after. You and love I'm, to do that. How about that picture that I put up that, today? That's Thank a, you that's very much. That's a Sam the Cooking Guy picture. That's it not sure is, boy. Usually no, that's it's not me, what. but I'm a little I usually put Lynn's pictures one. up there. That's that Israeli couscous. But I made that one... Uh, Yesterday, mo yesterday morning, yesterday at some point, I wanted to use up some of the stuff that I had, so I made that. And Kelly took it for lunch today. It was delicious, man. It was God. really good. Yeah, delicious. Uh, frozen peas in that. Uh, just keep frozen peas around. Ugh. They can go in almost anything. Thank you, Shannon. <laughs> Did Shannon like go in? Ugh. 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 Hey, God. I I heard that I peas. frozen peas have like just as much nutritional value and taste just as good as fresh peas. And you can't find fresh peas anywhere, really. You well, can. Of they have no, the no, same well, you can. Value, Look, right? we, we, it's the same uh, thing. Just well, no, no, no. But I think, what, I think what Lynn's saying is there's, there's some amount of degradation right. between the fresh and the freezing process. No, okay, I understand that maybe in taste. But I want to know literally if there is a difference in if you lose nutritional value when you freeze. Like if you lose oh, nutritional sure. value. Absolutely. I have to, I have to believe do. some. You, yeah. there is some loss. Absolutely. How about this? My sister swears by the dehydrated peas. And you pop them in water, and she says they taste exactly really? like the English pea out of the pod. Oh. Yeah. So we went through, the English pea season is over now, but peas in the pod that you peel, that you open, and you get the peas out yourself. They're fantastic. But you can't always do that, and you don't always want to go through that process. It's a little uh, time-consuming. But frozen peas in your freezer, like I always have, are good for a myriad of things. Somebody kicks you in the nuts, boom, bag of frozen peas right there, you're in good shape. But you want to add them to a stir fry, you just throw a handful of them in a little bit of boiling water, put them into a, 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 a fried rice, they're amazing. Into a pasta, they're amazing. You can make a pasta, throw some pasta in boiling water, and give it whatever the package says, seven, eight minutes, whatever. In the last minute of cooking, dump the frozen peas in, let them finish with the pasta, then drain everything, and now you've got peas, beautiful green color, beautiful flavor, added to whatever else is going to go in the pasta. Instantly. It's fantastic. Why did I mention peas? Oh, because they were up in that picture of the mm -hmm. Israeli couscous, mm -hmm. which I really like. 
Um, so you can follow along, wow, on the Facebook. So this is what I was saying when that picture came up. I go and I look at the Facebook comments from the live cast after the show. Uh -huh. I'm so happy that there are these, like, people are saying goodnight to each other, goodnight, live casters, see you tomorrow, what's going to blah, 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 happy. Somebody yesterday, Shaney, thank you for all the birthday wishes. I mean, it's just, it's like an actual family community right there. Okay. And I've said it before, I never saw that part of this when we started the live cast. I think it's fantastic. No, I think it's fantastic. It's, and we get mm -hmm. people that are here all the time. Right. And like consistent fans. It's almost like, you know, I expect to see these people every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Yes, exactly. Super fans. Can right? I say something, though? Because I'm, yes, I'm a little bit can. afraid of this, and it happened to us at the fair. Yeah. I have so much fun talking to everybody, yeah. and I feel like they're my friends and everything, and it's real easy when I'm in my own living room <laughs> talking <laughs> through a computer. But to run into somebody out in public, I'm going to be super shy. I think people are going to think that I'm going to recognize them from a picture that's this big that I look at every night, but it's still a picture this big. And I know that they're going to be all excited and I'm going to get super shy. And then I think they're going to think I'm just a bitch. <laughs> oh. uh, no, you know what? They might think you're a little standoffish, but I don't think that's, that's, you know, that's, well, and, I mean, that is what it is. And only right? because, yes, and you're out, not. In out, but out in public, yeah, I get really, I don't get like mad that people are coming up to us. I just get like super shy, like, why are you coming up? You love it. I, I, I do love it. I mean, I don't like it because it feeds that. I mean, I suppose on some level it feeds that part of my personality that likes that. But I like it because it, it I, I'm going to read you um, an email I got today or a Facebook uh, private message I got today. I was at the store shopping and I come around a corner and I'm walking past a woman and she's smiling at me and I smile back. I say, hey, how are you? And I get about four feet past her and she goes, wait. Mm -hmm. And I turn back and she goes, you're Sam the cooking guy? Mm -hmm. And I go, yeah. She goes, oh. And I smile and wave and I keep going because I'm kind of in a hurry, right? So now I'm checking out and she comes by and she goes, I don't want you to think I'm crazy. I'm just like kind of flushed. I mean, I never thought that you lived here and I'm a huge fan. And so I get this, this post and this is the thing that makes me happier than almost anything. Her name's Willie, which by the way, I think sort of traditional boy names for uh, women are fabulous. Uh, she writes, I'm the crazy fan that accosted you at the store this morning. She didn't accost me at all. It was such a surprise. I had no idea that you lived around here. I don't get starstruck. So I had to evaluate why I was so giddy about seeing you. I decided that through your show and your personality and your authenticity, I actually feel like I already know you. And it was more like seeing an old friend. It really did make my day. Now that I see that you have a cooking class, blah, blah, blah. So that's the thing. When people come up and they say, I feel like I know you, that make, the warms my heart more than almost anything. And that's the point that Kelly makes. Kelly says, people come up to me often and a lot because they feel like they know me. And I think they do. I think if you asked any of our very close friends, uh, they would say I'm the same on TV as I am off. No, I, I told you that when I first met you when we had our weird interview for this. Right. <laughs> weird Wasn't interview. that weird? Was that the first time you like uh, met him outside of like kind of like a function? Mm. No, I'm talking to Lynn. Oh, oh. <laughs> he goes a weird interview. No, it, okay. Well, first of all, I didn't think it was an interview. When, uh, we've told the story on air, but I, when tell it again. When Max first came to me about the live cast. I thought I was just going to be a consultant, like, oh, you know, you hook these things up to this computer and then I'd be done and I'd be gone. And then we're sitting right where Sam is sitting on that table. There's only one light overhead. It was totally dark. It was like the Godfather. Ben was here. <laughs> it wasn't that. quite as dramatic oh, as it was that. Pretty dr it was <laughs> at it was night. Cool. And then I come in and he's like, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and like, it, basically, it was, an, it was like an interview of like, not like, what are your credentials and how are you going to help us? But it's more like, you know, does this... <laughs> is this going to be cool? And I'm like, I'm excited for it. I think it'd be awesome. And then he's like, okay, well, then you're on board. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to just be like a one-time consultant and then out. And it was, I wasn't expecting an interview, but it was really cool. That's cool. I like that. And when we first met, I, I was saying like, dude, Sam, you, first of all, you write like you talk. Thank you. Thank you. you. That's absolutely. a huge really compliment, does. man. You absolutely write like you talk. So if you read any of his Sam's cookbooks, it's the same exact way. And then also 
you're pretty much the same person. You're just a little bit more vulgar than you are on your TV show. <laughs> <laughs> a little more. Fucking right. <laughs> Fucking A, man. By the way, you know what that is? People were asking. Let's see. Oh, I, it was that thing from the other day. It's called, a, just it's called it a, now? It's called a finger condom oh. what did you or now? a finger caught. Uh, I burned myself at Grocery Outlet oh, on, no. on the cedar plank salmon that we're making Monday night here. So badly, all of the molten brown sugar went onto my finger. Oh, same. And I had this plank in this tray in my hand, and I couldn't let go, and I just had to let it happen, and it's a terrible burn. Oh. And I don't like the way it looks, but I also have neosporin in it, on it, oh. and I b believe that keeping it under this thing is sort of going to help it heal a little better. I bought something today that Suzanne told me to buy, Kelly. It's called Mad Madura. Madura? Madura. Oh. Let me look. Oh. Got it. Um, how's it spelled? It's it's this. M A D. Maderma. Maderma. That uh, I was told by Suzanne that uh, works with us at classes and stuff. Skin care. She says do that on stretch marks. She says this. What? Ew. It heals like scars. babies. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> well, I don't want this on me now. <laughs> Uh, she says this took a scar that she had on her, her arm and basically made it go away. It looks perfect for you. Sam. So I go looking for it today. Well, that's, uh, a cool that's cool. I like that. This, this little tube. See how big this tube is? This is one ounce. Mm -hmm. No, it's 0. 0.7 ounces. This was $22. It's a ladies product. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> real it's women, 20. real stories, real results. It's a woman product. Oh, God. Well, perfect for me and my breasts. You, oh, my <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. I'm clearly it's looking. It's a complete woman's product. No, you should oh, be the for first God's male sake. sponsor. It says. For Moderma. That would be funny. Jesus. Skin yeah. care for scars. That's what it says. It doesn't say. Skin care for lady scars. It most, doesn't say that. Most guys don't care about yeah, scars. That's they think true. scars No, are but like, you know what? True. No, but I don't want, you know, my hands are, are I don't really not. want to. The hands, my hands are very visible hey, for Shane, what I do. I've seen a lot of people ask over the years for yeah. a montage of all of his burns and I have it. And stuff. Shannon has that. I have it. Okay, I was going to ask you. Can we do that one day? Can yes, we? I can get that. Oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, we're going to. So there you go, Livecasters. We're going to throw that out for you one day soon. Okay, so check this out. So last night was a charity event here for Mama's Kitchen. Wait, uh, sorry. Put, put, did you tell the people who we are and what we do? Oh, yes. I know you did. I know. I did, thank I'm you. I'm just giving you a hard time. <laughs> so put your hand up if you know who Mama's Kitchen is. Yeah. Right, so there's. Get your finger out oh, of your wow, nose. The only By the way, that <laughs> looked like it was that looked like it was in your nose. I do this. I don't know why. It wasn't yeah. on my nose. It wasn't in my nose. No it pick. No pick. Do you remember that Seinfeld? Yeah. Yes. When Jerry pulls up at a light and he's rubbing on the outside of his nose, uh -huh. and a girl in the car here looks, and that's exactly what she sees this. Right. And he looks and he goes, No, 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 no pick. I wasn't picking. I had it on the end of my nose. What's up with that? <laughs> what's up with those little bottles of alcohol on the airplane what's up with that so mama's kitchen is a an amazing organization here in san diego they've been around 21 or 22 years and they started in the height of the aids crisis when it was clear that people that had aids and hiv needed uh, sustenance and nourishment and it had nothing to do with whether they could afford it or not it had everything to do with whether they could actually prepare their own meals. Because that was one of the things that was very important to people fighting off these terrible infections, infections that were ravaging their bodies. So they started this, this um, organization that would deliver meals three times a day, seven days a week to people who had HIV or AIDS. 21 years ago, right? And so it grew and it grew. And now in 2012, um, it's less people affected by AIDS and HIV, but now it's people that are sort of have cancer and other diseases like that, mm -hmm. that still need to keep up their nourishment. And they physically can't get up and make their meals each day. So they have them delivered three a day, seven a week, 52 weeks a year. It's an unbelievable organization. Incredible organization. Cool. Yeah. Sure. They have this, their big fundraiser event every year is called Mama's Day. And it's a, 
80 restaurant food tasting and it's it's uh, just the warmth and the love there is amazing the food is amazing there and i'm what they call the the culinary host of the event or the host of the event which means i do press and tv or radio whatever and i do some stuff that night but it's really cool and fun and casual it's a wonderful event and you should go and i think it's in may or march or something one of the m months so I uh, uh, let them auction off a private dinner here, and there's, there's four chairs here behind me right now, but we have two more of these white, and one's here, and one's at the other end. So six people come for dinner, right? So that was last night. So clearly, um, an organization that was grown out of the HIV and AIDS epidemic in the early 80s has a substantial number of homosexual clients, supporters, sponsors, right? The whole thing. Of course. So the people are here last night. We have a great time. All my favorite food. And there's the bottle right there. I'm touching it now. Of Clasa Azul tequila. That's freaking delicious. In fact, we should all have some in a minute. Absolutely. Uh-oh. Hold on, Shan. Let me put it here because it's really, really good. If you're looking for a great tequila, wow. Roberto brought me that last what night. What a bottle. And it's amazing. Wow. And they make a black one that's called Clasa Azul Ultra that is somewhere around $1,500 a bottle, I think. And, and Roberto that was here last night that organized the night says he has one and I will be invited to taste when he opens it. I can't wait. Anyway, so they're here last night. So imagine this, right? I'm on this side of the counter, and I'm cooking, and they're sitting here, and I have Aaron, uh, my assistant, here with me. And we're making all the food, and we did the... What did we make? Last night we did um, Cap'n Crunch seared tuna. Mm. We'll start with that. And then I make a little cocktail out of oolong, t uh, uh, iced cold oolong tea and shochu like a barley, Japanese barley alcohol. Then we make um, mashed potato tacos. Uh, we do enchilada, my enchiladas that I make with a chipotle cream now that, oh shit, so good. Mm. I'll have to do it one night. We've done the enchiladas. I haven't done the chipotle cream. I'm going to do the chipotle cream on something else. It's two ingredients. It's amazing. Mm. Really quickly, yeah. we have a visitor from Australia, <laughs> Mr. Hayden Wood. What's good eye, Woody? good eye, Woody. Woo. Says he, he says, drink it, Sam. I showed you how. What's up? Oh, What's Woody. a tequila? What's up? Do we all remember Woody? <laughs> yes. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Hayden Wood. <laughs> I'm still cleaning the we kitchen. We remember Woody. <laughs> Who's not only oh have we drank together in a very <laughs> substantial way. Crap. In a very but go see amount. if you can find his cookbook. Force people to buy his cookbook. His shit is so fun in his books. Here's the thing. I write like I talk. Woody writes like he drinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. what it's all about. Woody writes like he's drink like he drinks. Woody's Liquid One of the one of the nicest guys I know. We had so much fun with him here. I mm -hmm. I'd like there he that is. Look awesome. at him. Hey, Some Wood. of us did. Woody's Liquid Kitchen. <laughs> he's the big tool with the base straw hat on. <laughs> Oh, look at mixing it up. Those with cocktails were so good. Yeah. That By the way, guess who he cinnamon, made cocktails for? The apple cinnamon cocktail, margarita. Oprah effing Winfrey. Oh, yes, he did. <laughs> right? right? When she It'd landed by her, you know, Jesus helicopter on the beach at Havo Beach in bloody Australia, there was Woody shaking shit up in his shaker, putting <laughs> ice in. I can't do it. I can't do the accent. I don't know. But he made it for her. And she had a sip of it, and then she went off and she ate like 400 pounds of something else. <laughs> I have no idea. Well, he anyway. loves you. He just, pro he just pro I do love claimed him. his love for you. I know. I adore him. He's <laughs> he a called you actually guy. a badass tequila smasher. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I adore him. He's a great guy. So anyway, so now imagine, right? The Mama's Kitchen people that have bought my auction item uh, at this event for the Mama's Kitchen people. They're sitting on this side. I'm on that side. I'm talking... And I say, they say, thank you so much for donating this and blah, blah, blah. And I go, you know, Mama's Kitchen really thanks you because they're the ones that benefit them. I don't get the money. They get the money. And it's great. And I go, it's a great organization. It's a great event. And they go, yes, it's a great event. And I go, you know, the only thing about the event itself 
And they go, yeah, I go. There was just a lot of gay people there. Okay, now I'm making a 100% joke, right? And they all are sitting there, there's six of them, and they all go like this. Uh, <laughs> oh. It was so awkward, you cannot imagine. You could have cut the tension with a knife. And I let it sit there for a second, imagining they're going to go, <laughs> of course. God. And they never did. And they didn't. And I had to go, I'm kidding. I'm fucking kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, so that's... And it, it, took, it took a good, like... 1001, 1002, 1003, before it sunk in. Clearly, I would not be the host, the culinary host of an event that in the early days catered primarily to the homosexual community. I wouldn't donate an auction item. I wouldn't be associated with them for the five or six years that I have. Yeah. If I wasn't okay with it. Now, see what's, here's what's going to happen. He has no problem with homosexuality. He just has a problem with them getting married or adopting children. Oh, shut children. up. <laughs> shut oh up. Oh, my God. You know what? what here we go again. Fuck, he does that. It now, see, we're going to Bill even says so that's where Max gets it. <laughs> we lost now, here's the thing. Oh, here's the thing. <laughs> uh, look, I sat on the back. <laughs> that's so funny, Bill. <laughs> I sat on the back at the Pride Parade here in San Diego two years ago. Yeah, we sat had, on the back. Have I said this? We had yeah, a video of that. I saw you in the back yeah. of the pink Cadillac. And, and I made that. I, I had a microphone and in front of a predominantly homosexual audience in this massive parade, I go, this is great. Having a great time. But if anybody's noticed, there's a lot of gay people here. <laughs> and they, and they laugh. laugh like fucking crazy. Yeah. They got it. Yeah, know your audience. Last night, yeah. they needed me to help them get it. <laughs> I'm uh, telling they, you, oh my God. They were cool after that though, right? They like, were very yeah, cool after that. Yeah, Sam woke up this morning and had wonderful thank you emails. Yeah, me. right away. And you know, here's what I like to do. When I've done something like that, I like to reach out and thank people first. Because that's not expected, right? And they got to me first. Fuck it. Yeah, Sam woke up this morning and <laughs> went, damn it, they got me first. Fucking Roberto <laughs> with his charming accent and his <laughs> Plaza Azul tequila. Fucking hit me up with an email at 7 a.m. or whatever the hell the time. <laughs> By the way, happy 100th birthday yesterday to Julia Child. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get a picture of the old broad up here. Oh, it's the old screen. Yeah. Google and you had know, a doodle for her. I, I may have said it before. Look, um, somebody in an interview years ago asked me if I had any uh, culinarians that inspired me. Was I inspired by any, you know, chefs along the way? And I don't, cons I mean, I only call myself a cook and I would never put myself in a chef category. And I don't, Hello. don't and think you, I you was consciously do inspired, but, but I feel drawn a little bit to her because she was so natural. Mm -hmm. Because if shit went wrong, she dealt with it. And maybe it was the nature of live television or the way they shot and they wouldn't go back and redo and stuff. But I like to think that down deep in her heart, that was just her. And even if they could go back, I believe Julia Child would have said, no, no, let, let's just do it this way. I'm fine. You know, she would have been completely cool with it. Oh, I wish we could have done a Halloween where you did Julia Child. Oh, yeah, I that'd didn't great. do that. That'd be a great tribute. Oh, there's always I didn't do this that. October yes. 2012. You can do it on the live cast, Sam. We'll oh, we artists. can do that. Oh, a Halloween live cast. Remind us, everybody. <laughs> Julia, Julia Child. Child. Somebody tell me, Halloween, October 31st is what day of the week? I have no idea. Not that it necessarily matters. It is. And I know somebody's going to say it first. Uh, Wednesday. <laughs> it's a Wednesday. Oh, perfect. There you go. <laughs> Lynn, you're gotcha. such a Julia Child. Sad. All right. So I'll just say, just wait and see what we do. We'll do something. <laughs> um, so there's a radio station here in San Diego, KPRI. Love KPRI. What number is it? 1043? 1013? 101.1. 102.1. 102.1. They do a thing on Sunday night. It's called My Turn, where they take like personalities, like famous people, and have them play the, the music that they like, shit they listen to. Who's that English girl, Kelly? Joss Stone? No, the, the one that's really popular now and is Adele. winning lots of... Adele? Adele. Adele. Right? <laughs> so you can listen to KPRI and you'll hear, you know, hi, 
This is Adele, and this Sunday on KPRI, I'm playing the music that I like to listen to. It's called My Turn on, what's the number? 102.1. 102.1, KPRI, right? Yes. Hi, it's Adele. Tonight on KPRI 102.1, I'm playing all the stuff that I like to listen to. Not sure why they let me do it, but they did. Tune in at six and enjoy all of what I like. I hope it's six. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> anyway, this Sunday, KPRI is my, my turn, my actual turn. Really? I oh, play wow. music that I like. No way. Oh, no. Really? Cool. Way, dude. Maybe a DJ. Yeah. Nice. yeah. DJ Sam. No, sort of. Somebody tell me what time it starts. Sinatra. Do you have any idea how long it took him to choose oh. the music? Oh, <laughs> Wait, oh I can what are some of your choices? Oh, shut up. I got, Wait, I got a couple of these. Your... Wait, I was upstairs, and he was downstairs, and I shut got up. a couple of these. Honey. What do I listen to? And I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? Quick, I need Did some you, music. What do hear. I listen to? Well, let's hear some Here, of your no, here's the problem. I don't want to tell you. I'll let you listen. But the problem is, is if I go by sort of my normal listening list, and I'll be completely honest now, it would be a combination of this. Red solo cut. No. Well, <laughs> there, would, there would be some country. Uh, Frank Sinatra mm-hmm, that I like. Um, R. Kelly. Show tunes. Look at silence. I like the there's there's a few. Silent. What's in your car right now? There's a few show tunes that I like. Well, I listen to Howard Stern in my car all the time. I don't, I don't I don't I don't listen to yeah. I want to hear like people me. talking. I don't want to listen to music. Uh, boy bands I listen to. Backstreet Boys. Okay. I, I know. I said so whatever. <laughs> what do I care? It's show not tunes, like I'm a boy band boy fan, band. <laughs> but there is Thanks some. It's, it's just so Backstreet Boys. Weird. There's me. a little bit of that <laughs> that I listen to. But then here, here's the look at. You like Chromio. <laughs> oh, you Chromio. Wow, Chromio. that is not helping my case, man. Well, you have it's the weirdest so playlist. It's so bad. You know what? I can't it's wait. A, it's Blake, a very unusual playlist. Blake is going to rip oh, you into over this conversation. <laughs> wait, check this out. Yeah, so wait, save the Arctic Monkeys, dude. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah. And they're playing commercials about it. Button, no, they are. Button just writes, yes, okay, yes, I look heard at this. three commercials okay. yesterday. I don't know how I can do this. Okay, I went, to, I went to my iTunes, and there's top 25 most played. Oh, don't do this, man. Here's what I got. Yes. Oh, my God. I, I'll have to edit oh, this I out. Don't do this. I wish see your computer right now. Is this going to work? Don't do it, man. No. Oh, why didn't we just hook up a com- cord to your computer? You didn't Shh. say that you wanted to do this. He's so weird. This sounds like from when you're... Yeah. Shanghai, Shanghai folk music. Yeah. See, you're weird. Are you going to play this on the radio? No. Well, so I can't. That's the problem. That's why I needed help from my home with this. This is Evan Bethany. She's a local uh, artist who... How about this? <laughs> oh my god, you're uh, so weird. Does, does anybody know the play? Um, you can, you're talking, you're fine. You're, you're, Spring you're on your love. You're on your love. You're good. Oh yeah. Spring Awakening is, uh, and then there's this. Just choose like the Beatles I mean, in this I know. Story. I know. He's so weird. I'm not How about this one? Oh, I can't play that one for some I'm reason. just going to cut your music out there. No, don't. And this one that I play every morning with mom. Oh, what is it? You hear what it is? It's just it's cheering so far. It's a pause. <laughs> Here's the deal. Cheering. When mom and I went... <laughs> it is Wait, I know. I know. Okay, let me explain. Let me explain. Wait, it's, that was not it's right. after we... Congratulations, you've woken up. <laughs> There's <laughs> something... Wait. <laughs> There's something that Mom and I do oh, every music. morning that I play the applause <laughs> track oh, after gosh. for. <laughs> You're making Kelly blush. <laughs> okay, that is so funny. Eddie. We go, <laughs> we go for our Are you four sure mile not just walk. Happy that you're old and have woken up again. We go oh. for our four mile walk when we come down the end of the street, the last four houses. <laughs> I put that on like we're at a... We like come a, through the gates like this. We, we land at the <laughs> oh front. God. That's cute. It keeps us going, man. Come Jeez, on. Jeez, man. Anyway, this Sunday, KPRI 102.1. Sam the Cookie Guy, it's my turn. 
And I can assure you, none of that shit will be playing because they're I needed be, things that people wouldn't turn off. They're going to be just hemorrhaging viewers during that. No, right. that's not true. Right. That's not true. Sandy writes, I might be busy that night. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, God. Sam, it's embarrassing. You're going to take the station I'm down with your play. Exactly. No, I'm <laughs> telling you, the, the music that I played was all great. You're going to like it. Go with like... Sinatra, the Stones, the don't Beatles. Wor- don't worry about Tony what Bennett, I play. It's, it's Queen, already chosen. It is. It's already it's, remember, it's, don't, just, play don't worry about music. it. Don't, I don't <laughs> want you to worry. It is written all, in stone. Well, what, that's what I'm wondering. What happens when he comes out there and, and starts requesting to play city music? What are they going to do? They'll probably say no. He's like, I want to play this applause line for four minutes straight. No, that's not what I've done. I've played music <laughs> that, you know that is uber friendly to everybody. You're going to like it. Just trust me. Max, yes. what he was just showing us was his true wish list that no he <laughs> That I know pres- wouldn't work on the radio. Right, he didn't present it. So, yes, I helped him present what was going I know, to you not wouldn't let him do that. And you know, you're following Purge some hard listeners. acts. I mean, that's listen true. to this. My turn. Bare Naked Lady. Oh, man, that's not a hard act. But uh, Bare Naked Ladies, those are not more Canadians. Yeah, Joe Walsh. Come on, dude. Oh, Bonnie Ray. Love Joe Walsh. Bonnie Ray. And, then, Raitt. and in, in, on August, whatever, Sam the Cooking Guy. It's going to be amazing. Wait, and it, did Adele really do it? Yeah. Right. This Sunday on KPRI 102.1, wow, I'm Adele. I get to play the kind of music that Boston I like people. to listen to when I'm eating chi- fish and chips hmm. at home out of newspaper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trust me. What I put on, I didn't put on the Chinese folk music that I listened to. Although because be I cool. know that that's fucking weird. No, it's not weird. I wouldn't weird. do that. Come on, dude. Well, it's not weird to you, music. Lynn, but it's weird. <laughs> no. Lynn, okay. you and me can listen to Chinese folk music he in my makes, car when we drive around. He makes me weird. We like get all dressed up and we're heading out on a Saturday night. <laughs> we get in the car and that's what he plays. <laughs> no, I don't play. No, it's no, no. We'll get in yeah. the car on a Saturday night or whenever and we go out and what comes on if it's not a Howard Stern, because I listen to Howard Stern all the time, if it's not Howard Stern, it's going to be some kind of that. It might be Backstreet Boys. It might be. And, it, and here's the weird thing. If it is Backstreet Boys, this is what it's going to be. Ugh. No, what's weird is that you no, don't, don't play, have a dude. problem. Don't play, Just don't play. You don't, play. don't have a problem sitting there saying it might be Backstreet Boys. <laughs> what do I care? It's all music. Look it. Here it is. Hold on. No, stop. Oh, sorry. Don't play. Don't play. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not. Ugh. And wait. Just stop. It's not Sam even. It's worse. Sam can sing every single word. It might be 98 degrees. Wait, let me just hold on. Get, move sing, it up. Sam. I want you to sing along. You have to sing. Otherwise, we'll get sing. hit for copyright Wait, violations. and what do you hear? He's a good singer. Go. Oh, yeah. Copyright violations. That's right. Stop. Okay. That wasn't Backstreet Boys. That was In Sync singing Oh, Holy Night. Okay. And let's cook. Okay. Can I just tell you something? <laughs> Time to cook. I love Christmas music. I'm Jewish. I love being Jewish. Yeah. I'm proud of being Jewish. But I freaking love Christmas music. Here's my Christmas playlist. Ready? Oh, God. Crickets. No. Oh, Holy Night. No, we have to come on. We the theme cut. from Home Alone. <laughs> White Christmas by John Williams. Uh, somewhere in my memory from a Home Alone. There's a lot of Home Alone stuff there. Do You Hear What I Hear? Andre Bocelli singing Cantique de Noel, Ave Maria. Ave Maria by Josh Groban. Yours is wait, very this? similar to mine. Really? Yes. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to so guarantee you you song. don't have this. Sam has a full playlist that is versions of Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Oh, yeah. I don't even want to get into okay. that. That's actually cool. I like that. That's cool. I dig that. I've got 21 versions of Somewhere Over the Rainbow. I dig that a lot. I like that song. And one of them is a hard, it's hard rock. It's just... I'm not going into that. I'll do that another night. Fixtures living. (laughs) Do you have Iz's version? Yeah, you know what? That's the one version I don't like. That's the version. Hey, we walked down the aisle when we got married. Oh, no. Now I feel bad. Dude, really? (laughs) Yeah. Why not? Fixtures living. (laughs) I love that version. That's my favorite version. (laughs) Uh You know who doesn't make moments awkward? Fixtures living? Fixtures living. No, they don't. (laughs) Just let me say. Uh, tomorrow night is my class at Fixtures Living, and I remember I used to do my classes in other places. And um, one day somebody said to me, "Oh, you should." I have one of my favorite flashlights here. Somebody said you should do your classes at Fixtures Living, and I said, "What's Fixtures Living?" And he went, "What? Just go. Here's where it is. Just go check it out. They're on Dowdy Street in San Diego." So I go there and I'm expecting, I mean, they said it was, you know, like appliances and junk like that. And I'm expecting a normal appliance store. 
What I found was a store that shouldn't be named Fixtures Living, should be called Holy Shit, because you walk in and that's what you say. <laughs> the whole way that they've set up their store, the whole way that they do business, the whole way that they treat you is amazing. Kitchen, bath, outdoor, joy. That's what they say. They do the kitchen, they do the bath, they do the outdoor. Tomorrow night, my class will be outdoor at Fixtures Living on their deck. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'll give away two tickets to my class tomorrow night. And boys, you have to monitor this, right? Okay. The first person that tells me my mom's first name. Mm-hmm. And it can't be any... Kelly, don't type that in. My mom's first name. We're on it, boss. All right. Fixtures Living has been a supporter of the live cast for a long time. They're amazing people. We have a synergy we like to treat people the same way and fixtures living was born out of one of the owners having a terrible experience at an appliance place and said there has to be a better way absolutely true story came home one day all his appliances for his outdoor kitchen were on his sidewalk nobody around nothing there they basically said you just fucking figure this shit out and that's not what they do they do the opposite of that fixtureslivingcom on the internet Fixtures Living on Facebook, and they're in San Diego and Dowdy Street, Rancho Mirage, California, outside of Palm Springs, Costa Mesa, California, and coming to fabulous cities near you soon. Fixtures Living, yeah. we adore them. Right. We have to cook. We're making my favorite salad tonight, but wait, before we do that, oh, I'll take my computer over there while I'm cooking something. We'll wait, do. We have we'll to do. go. We have to work on that, sir. What do we have to work on? Your computer's not. It's frozen. Oh, it is? Well, on our end, it's frozen. It's Shit. not frozen on your end. You're good. I can see everything. Yeah. We'll figure can, it out. Can, okay. Because I've got a quick f- four slides that I want to show of something that's funny. All right. Go cook and I'll right, go Yeah. Go we'll go. hop I'll in the kitchen it. and okay. then we'll figure that cool. out. Cool. You guys ready? We are ready. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so here's what the plan is. What's the plan, Shannon? The plan is... Uh, salad. Shit. It's a salad. It's a grilled salad. It's grilled romaine. It's going on this. Ooh. It's going to have bacon. Yes. It's going to have tomatoes. Yes. It's going to have Parmesan. Yes. All good, right? Yes. And I texted uh, both Max and Lynn today, and I said, why do I feel like we've done this on the live cast? And they said, oh, we haven't done it on the live cast. Lynn said, you know what we have done is it shows up uh, in the open, right? Yes. In the video, it's there. So, look, you know I'm a fan of um, this ready bacon, right? The stuff that cooks like in no time. And so I bought this the other day at the supermarket thinking that it was that. And it's actually not. This is a Hormel. See, I buy a giant pack of Hormel at, the, at Costco. It's the ready bake and it cooks super quick. So I was in a rush the other day and I bought this Hormel and I thought it was the same. And it's not. This is called microwave bacon, but I'm just gonna do it in a pan. Cause I think that'll just be easier. You gotta hear this from Facebook. Yeah. Oh, from sorry, my mic Puente. is really bad. Yeah, it's okay. From Blake Puente, my grandma <laughs> wanted to watch the show. She walked in right as Sam yelled, I know it's fucking weird. Oh. <laughs> she turned beet red, turned around on her heels, and left the room. Aww. No, but, but... Yeah, but, but wait, did you see the first comment I gave him? No. It's, that's what's led to this whole string that's very funny. The first thing I said after you posted oh, that. Oh, I see. I called her a pussy. pussy. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Kelly. By the I way. not the word. It's just the... It, the, By the way, I have met Blake's grandmother twice. Oh, no. And no. I thought that she was... Oh, she's heard me say this stuff before. I want to know, is she back in the room or is she still out? I don't know. Now I'm now I'm terrible. Bring her back. I'll say nice things. I'll make up for it. Don't I'll say ever shit bring like her near me. Kittens and puppies and flowers and <laughs> and sunshine. Blake is yanking your chain, dude. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Right. His grandmother did. Like he's split. sitting there sporting with his grandmother on a Thursday right. night. They're doing, they're doing shots. Well, he might be. And he's making me feel like crap. All right. So this pan is on. I'm going to get that hot. I'm going to start my bacon. 
And so this is a little bit more work. I mean, because it's going to take a little bit longer to cook. I mean, we're going to be okay here. Did that fix, Lynn? Um, we're going to play it for my computer, dude. Oh, okay, you got it? It's coming up soon. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll, tell me when. Tell me when you're ready, and then, we'll, uh, and then I'll get there in a second. Sure thing. Okay, so we're just going to cut this up. I'm telling you, the ready bacon, what it doesn't do is it doesn't throw off as much fat. And you might want the fat for some things that you're doing. But I'm telling you, it's super freaking easy. You go from zero to a BLT in about eight seconds. Yeah. I mean, really super fast. My a wife loves. Fave? My wife loves her BLTs. Remember the BLT salad, uh, pizza? Yes. Did we did that here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we did. Oh. Hey, there's a BLT dip that I have that we've not done. That We'll actually do that because we're coming into football season. By the way, let me know when you're ready to narrate your presentation. Okay. Let me, just let me get this in the pan and then what we'll... What the hell are these things? Oh, yeah, I know exactly. Okay. It's smoking. I hope I pulled okay. the right We're smoking, computer. right. I'm sure you got it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so i got to turn this on. But that's okay because we don't really need a whole lot of audio for this. Hold on. We're going to use sign language. <laughs> All right, so... Don't catch your finger condom on fire over there. <laughs> That's cute. You so really, we babies. want this bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I can't hear anything. He goes, we don't want any finger babies. <laughs> wow. So I go to the, I go to the, the, the Rite Aid today to get more finger condoms because I was out. And I think it's an important part of trying to keep this thing healing. And I couldn't find them on the shelf and I go to the pharmacy counter and there's a woman there that I know and I say, she goes, tell Kelly I love last night's show. Really? Aww. Wow. Oh, that's cool. All right, so you see, look it. This is giving off some grease, right? And you might want grease for something that you're gonna do to flavor whatever it is. I can turn this off. It's so loud. Okay, so here's the thing. It's always louder for us, I think. I know, I think it probably is. So here's the thing, those pictures that you've got there, Lynn. What are these things? Here's the thing. Okay. I, was, I was thinking about salads that I was gonna make today, and I remember Back in the day, the, the ladies used to make a salad, not technically a salad, but they would present it as a salad. My mom called it a mold. You know where I'm going with this, Kel? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Right? You know what that is? Yes. Show that first one. <laughs> Look at that thing. You know what that shit is? It's a lifesaver. That's jello. <laughs> But hold Irish? on, hold on. Is that the Wait. Irish flag? No, no, no. Wait, I'll tell you what that one is. That first one is um, jello with mayonnaise and oh. green, chopped green peppers and oh. onions and carrots. Oh. And there's a layer of mayonnaise that's been ew. gelatinized ew. in that. Ew, ew, ew. Oh. So who eats this shit? <laughs> no. Thank you. I will right? not. Dude, I grew up around that shit. Yeah. And I never would eat it. I hated it all the time. So go to the next one. The next one is uh, like pomegranates. Uh. And that looks just disgusting, doesn't it? Well, part yeah. of it's the straight on flash photo uh. of... And there's a little flag in the middle. No, no, no that's, that's just leftover <laughs> Jealous Leftover not spew. Have okay, <laughs> go, right? But here's the thing. I know... No, no, no. Wait. No, wait. I know that people have grown up with these things. I'm curious sure. to know if you like it. My mom called it a mold, and I would always say to my mom, Mom, you got a better... Shannon, look right there, quick. Tell us if Turn you right like there. it. Turn right there, look at Lucky. Right there, he's in that room. Look right there in that room on that couch. Where is he? Oh, is he doing a weirdo? Oh, oh he was just having like a full... On, look at him. He was just <laughs> having one of those full-on moments with himself. I can see the whites <laughs> of his eyes. He's going, oh no, I was busted. <laughs> busted on the living room couch. Oh, he looks like a pillow. He's a massive. <laughs> he does. He does look like a pillow. What dog? 
I only see pillows. There it goes. Okay. Oh, oh. no. All right, all right. <laughs> now I'm going to look like my camera. wiener. All right, all right. <laughs> so, look, here's the thing. I know people grew up with that, and I would tell my mom, you got to get a better name. Mold is just an awful name. Yeah. And who wants to eat mold? And she goes, everybody loves a mold. So go to the next one. Check this terrible thing out. You know what that is? It's a dip. It's chicken fucking salad. Oh. Encased in some gelatin that with, with crackers oh, in the ew, middle. Ew. The presentation is is horrifying. Look at that thing. Like and wait, Joanne Sears says yeah. she grew up and loved molds, and I love them all. I'd like to know if re really she oh, likes the chicken it. salad mold. That's gross. Oh. Okay. But so after this, after finding these pictures, I found one that actually looks really cool. And it's the final one that we've got. Look at this thing. Whoa. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's crazy. But that has in it layers of this. It's a, it's a um, mayonnaise sour cream kind of center. I think what? it's an LSD cake. I <laughs> know. No, 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 no. The white in this is either mayonnaise or sour cream. I don't really know how to do it. And I don't know how you keep the whole thing gelatinized and blah, 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 and who cares about all that. But it's really amazing. Oh, my God. Okay, Denise writes, my mother always made a good shrimp mold with oh, tomato. Oh, no. Wait, tomato soup, peas, celery, mayo, and shrimp. Okay, that sounds just Jesus. so whacked. Okay, me. hey, guys. Yes. Will somebody um, Google shrimp mold? Oh. We will. Or gelatinized shrimp mold or jello shrimp Gelatinous? mold. Gelatinous? Oh, okay. <laughs> so look, I'm telling you, look, this this salad. Oh, and Joanne actually loves the chicken salad one too. <laughs> Apparently. Look, I love chicken salad, but like that? Oh, that was cute. Diane said that one looked like gay pride jello. Oh, oh that's cute. Shrimp mold. But anybody? remember, Sam hates. Shrimp mold. Shelly, tell yeah. me. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> okay, that's Okay, would sexy. you please ask Wait, if that's there any more that, gross pictures uh, of we eat? Look at the plate that it's on. No, okay. We can't. Oh god, that's We're is about terrible. to eat. That looks like that pink slime stuff that Yeah, it does. McDonald's and all those things. <laughs> okay, so look, my whole goal here was cooking bacon. It was supposed to be a lot easier than this, and that's why I use the ready bacon. Because you can go from that to this in like set in no time, but we've got good bacon. Okay, so we're fine. Mm -hmm. Here's what I have to do. What do I have to do? Cook. I have to cook. I have to heat this. I'm just. <laughs> Thank you, Max. Look at his finger. It matches your music. What does that mean? <laughs> it's like you got your pinky finger out. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're using. We're using these. <laughs> I love you, Sam. He's romaine, right? And the system goes like this. You take a romaine, and you take a couple of the outside leaves off that are a little bit sort of wibbly and not so great. You want to get down to sort of like a decent little core. You can use these for other things, but for what we want right now, we don't want those. Cut those little leaves off at the top. And then this, see the, how this is brown here on the bottom? You wouldn't want to ever serve that to anybody. So we're just going to carve this little, we'll just clean up this bottom a little bit. Like this. And like that, and we're fine. Back to grandmothers really quick. Yeah. <laughs> Monica Weishart in Tucson says, my grandma loved Sam for his potty mouth. She loved the show, and when I showed her the live cast, she was hooked. Oh, Monica, see? Monica, you're awesome. We think that J uh, Blake is jacking with us. Blake is a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no apparently grandma his is grandmother <laughs> is. <laughs> pussy family. Blake, that's what happens when all you listen to is the Arctic Monkeys. <laughs> all right, so here we go. We clean it up. We take those leaves off on the outside that we're not big fans of, that we're going to use for something else. And then we'll cut it down the middle like this. So we have two halves, right? And this is useless. This is useless. There we go. So we've got these four little halves now. And watch how we're going to do with this. Oh, this is great. Wait, sorry. This is great, too. Blake posted his Google autocomplete. 
She goes, I, apparently other people have been searching for Sam the Cooking Guy's mom's name as well. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's got it yet? Yeah, there's been a few. Somebody got it, right? Yes, I will go back and find it. Wait, that was supposed to be the boy. No, you know. you're doing that? Well, I wasn't paying attention, so I didn't know who to choose. So but can I say it now? We had Veronica in there. Yeah, say it. My mom's name is Joy. And it's interesting because on the fixtures thing, that's where it came from. Here's what fixture says. Kitchen, bath, outdoor, joy. But look at this is cute, Sam. That's what they do. Kevin was the first person to post. Yes. And he said, Nana. Blake oh, posted Gertrude, which is so weird because that's your aunt's, your aunt's name. Margo said Ruth, which is your grandmother. Other grandma. Grandma Ruth. And oh, and then we have Veronica. No. Joy, Sandy, Joy. Woo. Okay, here we go. So here's what we want to do. This little grill thing here is getting hot, right? And what we want to do, we're going to cook the romaine on here. Uh, to get ready, we've got one other thing we have to do. And we need some tomato. So let me just do this. Let me just move these leaves and stuff back over this way. <laughs> oh, my mic is really bad. I apologize. Yeah. I thought I had it fixed, and I don't have it fixed. So you're Take hearing... Shirt off. You're hearing extra no. I've already <laughs> exposed my... Moobs tonight. I'm not going <laughs> to expose my stomach along with my moobs. So, um, these little, uh, what are these called? What kind of tomatoes are these called? Roma tomatoes. So, I just want them cut like this, and then I'm going to do this little, little uh, dice out of them. So there's these little bits that are going to go on here. Perfect. Okay, I got enough for I got enough for what I need for now. Okay, we've got that. We've got the bacon. We've got this. These guys. So I'll take a couple of these right here, and I'm going to watch. I'm going to throw a little olive oil on this top and on the back. Olive oil here on the cut side, and then there. Then I'm going to put them face down, right here. Mmm. Listen to that. And it's cool, right? Because what we're doing is, well, we're grilling it, and it's going to be just so delicious, so delicious. This is actually hot too back here. Check out here. I wanted to do this, and I forgot about this. Can I pull this off at the same time? Here we go. Here's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do a little grilled bread with this thing. So watch. So we'll take this bread. That's going to be amazing. And just put some butter on it right now. And we'll throw it on here. Uh-oh. And then I'll get this side. Oh my God. Yeah. Can I read something? Yep. Blake found a review in the San Diego Reader. Oh no. Beats me why this show is a success. It's got to be luck as the lighting is terrible. Sam isn't exactly charismatic and the recipe is no better or worse than any other place. Well, how old is this? Whoa. March, oh, March 26, 2008. Oh. That's funny. They hate me. I love it. Yeah. I love those reviews. Why are people so mean? Okay, look it. We don't want this thing to be on here forever, but we want some color. You see what's happening here? Mm. That's what you want. That's what you want. This bread's going to be amazing. Okay, we're almost done with that. Shan, back up for a sec. I need one thing out of the for Shara. I need some Parmesan. Yes, of course, if I had a very expensive block or wheel of, or wedge of Parmesan and I was going to grate it myself, it would be amazing. But I don't, and it's fucking expensive, so <laughs> screw it. This is going to be great. We're going to put two things on this, two things only. Okay. One is super good olive oil from We Olive, and two is super good balsamic vinegar. Am I saying that right? Balsamic. Balsamic vinegar oh. from We Olive. That's it. Salt and pepper, that's it. Uh, 
super good extra virgin olive oil from We Olive. They only carry extra virgin California olive oils certified. Their own brand. This is like candy. It's so delicious. We Olive has been a sponsor for a while. You can go to their website, weolive.com. You can hit the little shop now button up in the top. Max will show you where that is. You punch in the promo code SAM, S-A-M. And you know what you're going to get? What are you going to get, Max? Sorry, say that again? What you, you know, it's okay. You don't have to listen to me. <laughs> what you're going to get is you're going to get 10% off your entire order. Oh, yeah. Weolive.com, shop now, promo code SAM, S-A-M, 10% off your whole order. They've got 10 st stores, but F it. Don't go to a store. Go online. Shop online. Stay in, the com stay in your jammies, in the comfort of your home. Buy presents for you and your friends and gifts. They'll send you everything you buy for less than 10 bucks. How's that sound? Amazing. Does anybody else do that? No, they don't because everybody else are douchebags. We all over are not douchebags. <laughs> They'll send you amazing olive oil for almost nothing to your home. We love them. All right, so here's this little grilled uh, romaine. And we're done. Turn that off. Everything's beautiful. So here's what we're going to do to this. We're going to give it this. Some good olive oil. This mm. is the good extra virgin, and you're doing this for richness. That's what you want. And about a third as much of the balsamic vinegar. Am I saying that right? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> balsamic. We're not going to help you. Might you. Be. I don't know how to say it. Okay. And now um, some Parmesan. Mm. Right? Some tomatoes. Oh my God, one of my faves. A little bacon. Yeah, it looks amazing. Yeah. It's missing two things. Somebody tell me what it is. Salt and pepper. Thank you, Shan. A little salt and pepper. A little salt. Oh, jeez, your mic. Oh, uh, your mom's mic. I thought you had some new good method. Don't worry about it. Pepper. <laughs> and now this. Oh, shit. Look at that. Look how perfect. Ooh. Check out that little meal right there. Can I have that plate? Yeah, can I have one bite? You can come over here. I'm hungry. Come over here. You can have one bite. Oh, That's let me take one fair. bite. Let me take one bite and say goodbye. What about for the picture? I'm I'll the mother. More. We all have to wait while you just swoop in. <laughs> so I want some tomato. I want the bacon. I want this. Oh, and Lucky gets a bite before I do. Oh, come on. <laughs> little Miss Famous now. Okay. That's really good. And this little grilled bread, you don't need anything else. This. Oh, my God. Have a bite of this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Get a grill pan because then you can make these stripes. Right? Mm. This is so good. All right. Salad week's been a hit. This is amazing. You can do it inside. You could do it outside on the grill if you had a grill outside. It's no big deal. Do you ever make this? Do I? Yeah. She doesn't cook too often. Yeah, she doesn't cook. So that's right. she, doesn't do, she doesn't do anything. I do it for her. Thank you for being here. You're honestly, you feel like part of the family. And not the creepy part because we've definitely got those in the system. The good part of the family. Blake's grandma's out. Monday night, Blake's grandma's out. Monday night, cedar plank salmon. The thing yes. that gave me this. Yes. Ugh. My favorite. I'll get through it. It's everybody's favorite. It's super delicious. Mm -hmm. Have a great weekend. Don't eat bad food. Make the stuff that we've shown you here. Tell your friends about us and uh, come back on Monday. We'll see you then. Where are you going? Mm -hmm. See ya.